we are on about 30 million uh, unique devices, iPhone, Blackberry, and um, Android, and Java. And uh, we have about 16 million agents on devices, so we, we have a good view of what's going on. I'm Matt Murphy from Planet Earth and Stop and Bios. I'm a partner there, and I also uh, manage what we call our iPhone, which is a $100 million initiative that we announced with Apple last February. We've got uh, seven companies on the iPhone so far, six that have been announced, and that equates to about uh, half a million dollars set aside. I'm Dorian Porter. I'm the CEO of Moses. Uh, we offer a mobile marketing platform uh, for music, entertainment, sports, causes, and the brands that market around those consumer passion points. Um, so we're very focused on mobile interactivity using the mobile phone. Um, and uh, we'll leave it at that. Hi, good morning, everybody. I'm Puhi Nakuchukar. I run the developer program for Nokia. Uh, I feel like a foreign exchange student here in the iPhone love fest. So I'm hoping to use this panel to tell you why you should consider Nokia. <laughs> So uh, let's get down to it. The, um, the mobile industry is evolving quickly. I'd like to start off with a broad question and then get into more specifics around specific models that, that have a promising future, and then take questions from the audience if we have time. So uh, looking at the mobile ecosystem today, who's making money, or who's making big money, and how do we define big money? Can we kick it off, Mark? Sure. Well, certainly in my little world, a lot of companies that we've talked about are the social gaming companies. Uh, Zingas and the play uh, etc. And they are making money on mobile, on the iPhone in particular, in the same way uh, that they are making money uh, on Facebook. Uh, speak for myself, uh, and, and so that is measured in the uh, millions of dollars of revenues per month. Um, in, in, in my universe, on the iPhone, uh, I have a business that is now uh, been live for about a year. Uh, we are a dozen people, we're angel funded, uh, we're profitable. And we are seeing sort of our revenues sort of every now and then be double. Uh, so we, we, we can see that our revenues are going to double again several more times over the next 12 months uh, as the platform expands uh, and as we start uh, deploying in app commerce and as we start broadening uh, the, the products that we offer and services that we offer and the ways to modify. Uh, so we think we have the opportunity to build a company here that is hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue. Uh, and that is because we are on a platform uh, that is on fire. Uh, where the engagement uh, is amazing uh, and for users are accustomed to uh, mobile and the Apple platform, uh, users are accustomed to paying for things that they would not pay for uh, uh, on the web. Um, so we have, uh, to give you a sense, uh, when we started the company, uh, our goal was to get 1 million users over the, course, over the course of a year and we got angel investors very excited about that, that possibility uh, and we are into it we have 15 million, one five, 15 million App installs, and that really means that we are on more than uh, 10 million devices. We have 4 million uh, unique users per, per month. Uh, every day, a million and a half to 2 million games are played on that type of range. And we actually counted that there have been 460 million games played uh, on that type of range in the last year. So the engagement uh, is amazing. Uh, and I think it's a testament to the success of the platform and the ecosystem that Apple has built. And your spikes of revenue around recycles, or so you, you see spikes? It's yeah, and, and, you know, when, when you release new titles, uh, then you have a big, a big spike and then it long tails. The tail is getting fatter and fatter for us, uh, and as we are turning on uh, in-app commerce, uh, then we are uh, then we're able to flatten out the, the revenue cycle, and I think that, that's starting to happen to us as well now. So I think us, like others, are starting to figure out uh, how to predict revenues and how the ecosystem works. Uh, this is a new platform, uh, and, and, and new rules are being written, and price points are settling, uh, and then they're changing, uh, for example, within that commerce. Uh, so I think maybe a little bit later we can talk sort of more in depth about the premium model and, and how it works and how you rise above the noise in a world where there's 60,000 apps, because obviously uh, there's a lot of noise uh, on the platform. But I would say overall, um, as I was speaking with Magic before he came on stage, uh, we believe that this was going to be a disruptive platform, uh, that ultimately it's not just about the iPhone, but, but for now it is, uh, largely. And, and so far that, has, uh, that, that thesis has uh, held up in, in space. Uh, and I believe the fact that, we, that, that iPhone is sort of increasing its speed uh, in the market in terms of consumer uh, buzz and adoption. So, what, what do you think of making big money as a, as a CEO of an analytics company? I'd love to be on that. 
Sure. I mean, if you segment the ecosystem to application developers, uh, platform for device manufacturers and carriers, well, it's clear from Apple's early announcement that they're making money while AT&T's announcement they're buying the business. So, I mean, they're buying the land grabbing now, and they're paying for it. So, they're buying all land, they're going to farm it. So, uh, if we put the device manufacturers and the carriers on hold and talk about the application developers, which is where everybody seems to remember this money, I mean, 100% with the part. You know, everybody thought that there's 65,000 applications on the iPhone, people would use them for a couple of weeks and dump them. Mm -hmm. That's not true. The engagement is amazing and the life on an application is increasing. So, uh, I mean, we're sitting and watching 4,000 applications and some of them are making very good money. It's still a title driven or a driven industry. With, with the title, you're making roughly some of them, if you make it on the Apple Top 25, you know, you're making anywhere between uh, half a million to seven hundred thousand dollars over a lifetime of an application that costs you hundred fifty thousand dollars to build. So there is a model that you can make a lot of money. And I hundred percent agree with Bart that we're calling it app game or uh, in-app e-commerce, where you can sell things and kind of remove this concept of the app network, which puts you away from a digital good. You're you're a step further from a digital. Well, sell the good. Don't advertise for it. And you can do that. And I think, uh, I agree 100%, it's not an iPhone only industry. I think Apple has proven that if you make something cheap enough and you tie it to a certain device, people would pay for it. In 2000, people were downloading free music from Napster, and everybody wrote off Hollywood, oh, no one is going to make money from music anymore. Well, I disagree. You make it 99 cents, and the iPod proved that you, you, uh, you pay for it. And the App Store is growing at 25 times faster than iTunes if you measure in the same period of time. Take the free applications out, it's still growing at seven times faster than, than the iTunes. So I think that we're creating a new economy. This is like the 1985 in the PC software industry. There's gonna be a lot of money made in software and it's gonna be application that will drive the, the choice of a device and will drive the choice of the getting. Sure. Hey, your question is, uh, who's making big money? I actually don't think anybody's making big money right now. A lot of people are making small money. But the thing we have to realize is it's really early days here, and all the early <laughs> days are encouraging. And remember, so far, all we've been able to monetize with is advertising and one time downloads. It's going to be a big difference when we get subscriptions in and out of commerce. And I think just the fact that so many companies have been able to at least make a living off of the iPhone is encouraging a whole other class of developers that want to kind of build the businesses that we're all about that's you know the tens of millions of businesses. The other things to remember are as Bart mentioned, you know, right now we have a platform of about 40 million units on the <laughs> iPod Touch. Is it going to be 80 million in a year, 100 and something million in two years? That's a massive platform you can really start to launch as across. And in parallel with that, you get things like Android, Symbian, Palm, etc. coming online with platforms that will get more interesting over time. The, the epicenter of activity is on the iPhone. And that's going to get a lot more interesting from a monetization standpoint. And then I think people will think about uh, other platforms over time. So uh, 